Hi, I'm Jason with Burton Snowboards. I'm here at Eric's today to talk to you about uh, the Burton boot line. So just kind of uh, what you get as you go up in price. So, you know, just kind of looking from the outside, you know, there's a few differences, but um, you might not really know what the difference is and what you're getting as you're uh, stepping up in price. So um, when you step up in price, you usually get a little bit uh, better liner system. You get more intricate lacing systems. Um, you might get better uh, soles, you know, things like that. So uh, let's just kind of walk through as far as like a, a good, better, best scenario. So, you know, one of our best selling boots is the uh, Moto Boa. Uh, the female counterpart to that is the Mint. So it does have uh, the BOA system, so just you know, super easy to use. It does have the, the new uh, H4 dial in it, so it does recoil in, so it laces up a lot of it for you. Usually what I do is I push it down and then uh, run them lacing everything up. But once you get into the boot, you do get um, a lot, there's a lot going on in the inside of the boots. So this is a heat moldable liner, so this will, uh, pack out to the shape of your foot. Um, you can put it on a boot molder if you can you know, you know, find one at your local shop, um, but they will pack out and break into your body heat. So um, they definitely custom fit and custom form to your foot. So we actually you know, put a lot of lacing, webbing, we've got a little, um, little bit more uh, heel hold area here. Everything is done on the liner when you're at this level. Uh, there's also uh, what we call a sleeping bag. There's a reflective heat, uh, heat blanket type material on the bottom that keeps, uh, keeps the temperature of your foot from sink, you know, going through the bottom of the, uh, the sole and just uh, keeps it a lot warmer. So um, just a great killer boot uh, for the cash, uh, super lightweight, just easy to get on and off. So if you're, you know, beginner, intermediate, just looking to get on the hill, something easy, that's, uh, that's kind of where you're at with the, uh, the Moto and Mint. Uh, then kind of stepping into kind of the, the mid-level, um, you get into like the ruler for men's and the limelight for ladies. Uh, you go up to this level and the ruler, uh, the non-step on version is, uh, does have the double boa like you see here kind of on the photon. Uh, it does have the imprint two liner set up. So you notice there, uh, there's no lacing on the liner itself. Um, that goes to a cuff that's attached to the inside of the shell. So when you have that, that just creates a lot better fusion between the liner and the shell. You get much better response, uh, much better heel hold uh, when you're dealing with a cuff that's attached to the, she to the shell versus um, attached to the liner. But, you know, again, heat moldable, still really good footbeds, you know, good heel hold uh, when you go there. Um, then stepping up from there, you go to... Um, like let's say, you know, like a Photon or a, uh, for men, Felix for ladies. So uh, definitely one of our best all around boots, kind of if you're, if you're uh, just kind of looking for one boot that does everything well, this is definitely one of the best, just straight down the middle boots. Um, you know, it's a great place to start. Even if you're a beginner, you can never spend too much money on boots because the boots are your most important part of your gear. So um, it's kind of a, you know, buy nice or buy twice sort of thing, but you know, definitely spend more money on boots. Your day on the hill will be much better. But when you step up to something like this, um, you notice that, you know, again, no laces in the liner, but a much more intricate uh, cuff on the inside that gives you, you know, some really good customization fit options. There's more dampening gel in there. Um, you get up to things like uh, Vibram, uh, traction lug outsole, you know, guaranteed, or guaranteed for life on that. It is our eco-friendly, uh, uh, made out of 50% reground rubber on there. Um, you go to the double boa. Again, double boa is a separate upper, uh, upper and lower zone, so that just gets a much more focused, snug fit. So the side dial will crank down the bottom. Top will do just uh, up here, and you can really just focus you know, how tight you want the top or how loose you want the bottom. It, it allows for just a nice overall snugger fit, having, having the double zone. Um, and then you get into the imprint three liner. Definitely a lot more going on here. Better moisture wicking materials on the inside. Uh, it has what we call our dry ride heat cycle material on the heel that regulates your body temperature, grips the, um, grips the fibers of your socks, giving you better heel hold. You're also getting a much better, higher quality footbed uh, when you step up to here. It's got the little stiffer arch supports, things like that. So um, when you go up in price, you know, there's a lot more than meets the eye. So when you go up in price, you're getting boots that just fit better. You get better lace options. Uh, there's different flexes of boots, too. Um, if you're like a stiffer boot or a softer boot, you know, uh, there's 
things like that to take into consideration too. But um, again, just um, better laces, better liners, better fit, longer lasting as, as you go up in price. So uh, your, your feet will thank you. So definitely, uh, definitely uh, spend, spend some money on boots. It makes a big difference. So that's just kind of a, a general run through on you know, what you get as you go up in price in, uh, in Burton boots. So 